Here in the Expenses tab, you can track all of your expenses. You can keep them nice and categorized, so when it comes time to file your taxes, uh, rather than your shoebox of receipts, you have a nice organized list of expenses and can generate a beautiful expense report. To create a new expense manually, you just click this green New Expense button right here. The first thing it's going to ask you is for the amount. Now, I, brought, I bought some film recently, so I'm going to uh, track this expense by entering the amount after tax. I live in Ontario, so I want to make sure that HST is included there. The vendor. The category. And any notes. Uh, another really nice feature is you can attach an image of your receipt. Um, so I don't have one on me, but if I did, I could attach the file. Um, I'll probably take a picture later and then come back and edit this uh, expense in order to upload the image. Another interesting feature to point out is you can assign expenses to clients. So if I made a purchase specifically for uh, a particular client and I wanted to rebuild them for it, I can assign it to that client. And the system later will prompt me to pull that expense onto an invoice. We'll look at how that works later on. For now, I'm just going to add the expense. And there it is. The, another way that you can get expenses added into your account is to use this feature here called the bank accounts. Now, the bank account expense import is only available currently for North America. So you may not see this tab here if you live outside of North America. If you live outside of North America, or if you prefer to bulk import from a file, you can try using this file import feature. Now, you can import your expenses from either a CSV file or a QuickBooks QBO file. There's a sample that you can download to see how your file needs to look um, in terms of formatting. Once you have formatted your uh, CSV file correctly, you just upload it here, let us know what file type it is, the date format, which is really important and a common place where people might make a mistake, and the amount format. So if your bank exports files and all of the expenses are negatives, so you want to make sure to let us know that here. Um, sometimes they're positive numbers. And you simply upload your file. And that is basically expenses. Uh, I'll show you later on how to assign an expense to a client when we talk more about time tracking.